All right, here we're going to introduce rearrangement inequality, and we're going to cover the proofs, the applications, in maybe two or three videos. All right, here, here's a statement. So we have two sequences, a1 to an in increasing order. We have b1 to bn in also in increasing order. Then we claim that this inequality holds. All right. So here, the pi, this is like the index, right? It's just a permutation of the index, original index. Okay, this symbol means um, from from one to n. All right, and just a special symbol here. And here, pi usually means a permutation. So what we're saying here is that uh, this is actually the in order, right? So the two, the rank of the a and b are are the same. This is called in order, same rank, right? In other words, a i, b i, same rank in the sequence. When, when I say rank, it means is this the first element, the second element, when you sort them, right? That's called the rank. And here is just a reverse rank, right? Reverse order. You see the smallest and the biggest um, grouping together. And here is somewhere in between. So we claim that the in order is the biggest, right? So when you think about it, it makes sense intuitively. All right, so I give you a scenario here. This intuition is just greedy algorithm. So I have a scenario where you're going to pick objects from three piles, right? The first pile, this object is a good object that each item worth $100, all right? So each item. And there's many items in this uh, pile, right? These are objects. And the second pile, each worth only 50 bucks, right? And the third one, maybe just $20, right? So a lot of different objects here, different objects here. So I have this scenario where you have the freedom to choose, you know, two, three, five from some of the piles okay in other words you can choose two objects from here three from the 50 piles uh, and then five in a total you you need to choose 10 objects okay so of course you want to maximize the value that you collect you know you try to find this many items you know from the piles right Of course, what you would like to do is to maximize that. You probably want these five items, you're going to choose five more most expensive items. In other words, you have to choose five times 100, right? And three, you're going to choose 50. You don't want to choose 20 because you have the more, the better, right? So times 50. And then the two, you know, go with the cheapest one, right? Now, on the other hand, if this is another scenario where this is your obligation, so you are you are required to buy items and and give it out for free. You you know this is your obligation, so you have to, you know, pay your your let's say your friend, and you can choose five items from one pile, three items from another, and so on, so forth. So in that case, if you want to, this is where you want to maximize the value, right? So if you have to pay the value, if this is your obligation, then you want to minimize the total value. In this case, you say, okay, I'm going to buy five cheapest, right? So five, you're going to go with what? You're going to go with 20, right? 
and then three gonna go with 50 and then two gonna go with 100 right this will be minimum value and for some other orders you you're going to be the value in between in other words in our original statement here's the two sequences what you know a n let's write it out so it's this intuition here in this case a n is the price and we're going to sort it in increasing order and 100 and b n here is going to be two three five so the in order one you will achieve maximum value which is which is this this arrangement right out of order one or reverse order one is going to be smallest okay so this this will be in order right this is in order in order so you're gonna you're gonna have 20 times 2 50 times 3 and 100 times 5 okay and out of order you're gonna have 20 50 100 and out of order for example if you want to totally reverse it you will be smallest right two so that is uh, that is reverse order right and and the value would be if you multiply out this will be 100 this will be 150 this will be 200 and here the total is 500 plus one 150 650 plus uh, 40 so 690 total right total now here is the total here in the in the reverse order one is going to be 450 right this just intuition is that uh, you want in order to maximize uh, the sum reverse order to minimize it all right so here in order sum is maximized and reverse order is minimized okay this is just what the um, theorem says okay so here sometimes we have product form right so it come with this form here now notice that um, and in order to understand this just record that uh, uh, if I compare so for the power, sometimes you take a logarithm and you can turn that into a, a summation, right? So, for example, the logarithm here would be b1 log a1 plus b2 log a2 and so on and so forth, right? So here you can apply the rearrange, uh, rearrangement inequality by looking at two sequences, okay? Sequence one, what what is called an is the same thing here a one. Oh, sorry, is is a logarithm of a two, a, yeah, a logarithm of a n. The the other sequence you take, you know, b one, b two, b n, right? So you have the summation here, but then you can turn that into the product form, all right? So now with this. As a tool, we can reprove the previous result. You know, so we have uh, uh, in the previous lecture we proved this statement by looking at the fact that any real number, right, when you square it, it's going to be non-negative, right? So we, based on that, we we are able to prove this. But here we're going to use the rearrangement inequality to prove it. So again, for for that you need two sequences. Here, what we can do is I'm going to use A B C as the first sequence, right? And then when now one thing here is that uh, this is a symmetric in A B C. So it is okay is without lots of uh, generality we can assume A is smaller than B, smaller than C, right? Of course, um, let's do that because you can always uh, swap uh, the variable and then the expression doesn't change. 
So the in order one would be a, b, c, the second sequence, right? This is a n, this is b n. Okay, this is the in order. What is out of order one? You a n will be a, b, c. Here, I'm gonna out of order, I'm gonna go to a, we go to b, b, we go with c, c, we go with a. So the rearrangement in quality is saying that the product here, which is a square plus b square plus c square, is the biggest because it's in order. And this is out of order, so it's gonna be a, b plus b, c plus c, a. Oh, this is exactly what I want to prove. That's it. So in the next lecture, we're going to try to prove the rearrangement um, inequality. There are multiple ways of proving that. There's induction, but here we're going to introduce um, you know, a proof, and we're going to go over some other uh, examples. And uh, so see you next time. Hope you enjoyed the video, and please subscribe to the channel. Um, to get you know similar topics in the future. Thank you.